Now, here is the point number nine where we will learn how to customize your new online shop using Get Shop Today Builder, which is the all about design. Some of you guys may think why this design portion is all the way bottom of the tutorial. The reason is that a good looking website is very important. But before a nice design website, we need to set up the most important things, which is directly related with your business. And this is the reason now we are focusing on design when your shop is almost ready. As I said earlier, that when you make money, money will give you time. And now you do have time, so you learn it. And then slowly, slowly, you build a beautiful website how you want to. So learning how to customize your online shop. Now I'm going to play two different type of video. And these two video, if you watch, I believe you will get to know how you can use Get Shop Today Builder A to Z almost everything. But as I said, almost it means that these two video may not answer your all problem. If you do have any question, then please do not hesitate to call me directly. And here you can see my email address, also my phone number. You can call from 4 p.m. till 11 p.m. in your convenient. In this video, we will learn how to design and add a page using Get Shop Today Page Builder. To design a new page, simply navigate to the Page Design section in the main menu and select Add New Page to the submenu. Add your page name in the Page Title field. It can be, for example, About Us, Our Mission, Our Team, and so on. For the purpose of this video, we will call the page Tutorial 1. Click Update to save and create the page. And once created, you can always find this page under the Page Design and then All Pages. You can find it here. To edit this page, click on the Edit icon. We are back now to the editing section of the page. You can preview your page anytime by clicking on the button Preview at the bottom. As you can see, it is empty at the moment as we have not added anything yet. So let's go back and design the page. Here you can see the three most important buttons. If you can understand how to use these three buttons, it will allow you to replicate and create almost any page design quickly and easily. Let's see what these buttons mean, how to use them, and the difference between them. Click on the Add Full Width section. You can see now the black box Add Module appearing, which represents the section of the website. Click on it to select the module of your choice. To better understand how modules work, let's look at an example. Let's select the image module to add an image. You can see four different image styles that will ensure your image proportions are always right. In this example, let's use Landscape by selecting Landscape in the Image Type selection. Then click Add Image and choose an image from your computer. Then click Open Image. When the image has been uploaded, you will be presented with a selection tool and you will be able to crop the image in the way you want it to be displayed on your website. See how it is keeping the proportions as Landscape. When you are happy with the selection, click on the Crop Image button, then click Save to save your module selection. Don't forget to click on Update to save the changes on your page. Now if you go back to the preview and refresh the page, you can see the image we just added. When you are using the Full Width section, any added content, irrespective of whether it is an image, a video, or anything else, will always display covering the entire screen, from top to bottom, from left to right. That is Full Page. Now let's go back to the editing page and explore the Add Columns option. And I hope this will give you a better understanding. When you select Add Columns, you are again presented with the choice. Let's choose the container 12 in this example. Now select Add Module and choose the Image Module and select Landscape again. Choose another image and crop it like before. Click Save and Update. Now we can see that we have another added image. Please note how the color is now blue and not purple, representing the choice you have made between the two buttons. Let's quickly go to our preview page and refresh it to see the change. As you can see, our new image is displaying in the center of the monitor, but you will notice empty space on the left and right. To summarize, your columns let you select what proportion of the screen your content will be displayed across, and modules let you select what kind of content will be displayed. When you are choosing the full width section, your content will be displayed across the entire monitor. But when you are choosing column 12, it will display in the center of the monitor. But you will have some space empty on the side on the left and the right. Let's go back to the editing and add another column. But this time, let's choose one by two 
and one by two. This time we will have two module sections. Let's select the image module again. Let's choose square this time, add an image, select open, crop and save. Now we have added the image on the left hand side, but we can still add another module to the right hand side. Let's add module, select text module, add some text, justify it, save our module choice and update the page. Let's go back to the preview and refresh the page. Now we can see at the bottom that the image is 50% and the text is 50% on the right. I hope now it is clearer for you how the columns and modules work. If you want to add here three different types of content, for example, image, text and buttons or anything else, you can choose the one by three column. If you need a more specific section, you can use add special column to select more complex sections as displayed. We hope this gives you a basic understanding of how to use these three options. In the next video, we will go more in depth about how to do website design using GetShop Today platform. Thanks for watching.